Oh, here we go, borrowing. When we're taking away too much, we have to borrow from the next place value, all right? Now, if there's not enough to borrow from the next place value, don't worry about that. That'll happen later, and we'll worry about that when we come to it. But for now, there will be enough in the next place value. When, when I say the next place value, I'm looking to the left. So like if you're looking at the ones place value, you need to borrow from the tens place value. What that effectively does is it increases the place value that you have by 10, usually 10, okay? So this is similar to breaking up the denominations of money. That's true, right? Like if I said, um, uh, like even like this one, right? 100 minus 7, you could say, well, what, what would you do to break this up, right? Like you go to a store, uh, you have a $100 bill. Not that I know a lot of people that have C notes in their pockets, but um, you're going to pay 7 bucks right here, right? Okay, so you hand them 7 bucks, and then they'd say, okay, I need to break this up, this $100 up. And so there's a few ways to do that. I would say, okay, you'd have nine ten dollar bills and then maybe ten one dollar bills, right? That still totals a hundred. But now I'm gonna take away seven from those ten ones, and that would end up with ninety three bucks, right? So you have the nine ten dollar bills and then the three one dollar bills right there. All right, that's borrowing. So we're breaking up bigger denominations or place values, and uh, letting the place value smallest next to it borrow from that place value. That, that may be more explanation than you want. Uh, I hope that's not too confusing, but I, I guess at the foundation of borrowing, that's, that's pretty much what's happening, okay? So here we go. We got subtraction with borrowing. We got our uh, subtraction facts, and we'll see that um, it, it won't apply to all the place values when we're borrowing. But again, just having those basic uh, subtraction facts is going to help us, okay? So this first one, 82 minus 25, okay? So 82 first, so that's an 8 in the tens position, a 2 in the ones place value. Minus 25, that's a 2 in the tens place value, and a 5 in the ones place value. Now when we perform this subtraction, right, we would say, all right, I'm going to start with the ones place value. So I'm not really focused on the 8 minus 2 in the tens place value. Now, the problem with this, though, is that 2 minus 5, I'm taking away more than I have. The 5 that I got to take away from the 2, it's just not enough. The 2 isn't enough to take away from the 5. So now I, I have to actually do, I do have to consider the sum of the tens place value here. So what I'm going to say is the 2 from the 82, the 2 in the 1's place value, I'm going to borrow 10, uh, 1 10 from the tens place value. So if I borrow 10 from that 80, then I'd have 12 there, right? Now, what does it do to the 80? It drops and becomes now 70, like this. Okay? So here's what this is. And again, I, I, I may be doing more expla explaining than you need, but I hope it helps, okay? The 7 in the tens place value is 70, right? The 12 in the ones place value, essentially, is 12 there. When you add those two together, what do you get? You get 82, right? So it's, it's not that we've changed the value, and this is important to math. We have not changed the value. We've only changed the way that it looks. And uh, this is kind of the beauty of mathematics in general is if you can change the way things look without changing a value, um, then you've really arrived. Like there's no, um, there's no type of math that you cannot do, okay? But we have to understand that 82, sometimes I need it to look like 70 plus 12, all right? So now that I have 12 in the ones place value right here, now I can go back and say, okay, now I'll ignore those tens again, right? So I've got 12 minus five, I've got 12 take away five, um, which is not in, in our memorization facts, the subtraction facts there. Okay, so uh, again, you may re resort back to more concrete examples. You'd have 12. Now, now for me, by the way, if I was doing this on my fingers, I'd say I got two fingers up knowing that's, that, uh, that's 12. That's two from the ones place value, and then I got a, 10 more fingers that I can use if I need to, right? So I'd say, okay, I'm going to put these two fingers down. So that's two, one, two. And then I'd say, okay, since I know that was 12 from 10, I'd have my other uh, 10 fingers up. I took two, 
three, four, five, and how many fingers do I have up? Boom, seven right there, okay? So 12 minus five is seven. Again, it's not in our subtraction facts that it would be nice to memorize. But knowing how to do that would be very, it, it's crucial for uh, any of the math that we're gonna be doing. This is our basic arithmetic, okay? So now that I have the ones place value, the seven, I can go now into the tens place value. And this is where we see, okay, now we're back to just uh, digit minus digit. It's not a two digit number minus a single digit number. Seven minus two, seven take away two. And again, if you've got to memorize, you'd have five right there. Or if you're gonna use fingers, I already got seven fingers up. So yeah, take away two fingers, bam, you got five. And so that's a five in the tens place value. And uh, yeah, 82 then minus 25 is 57. Now you'll see a relationship between some of the values as you start memorizing these. Uh, that'll come with some experience, right? Like uh, some people would say, well, I know 12 minus five, that's, it's either a seven or two. Twos and fives will either give you sevens or twos. And there's other relationships like that that you'll get down as you do uh, more of this arithmetic type stuff. Okay, but it, but it does come with experience. Let me get rid of those fingers here. So this next one, 18,532 minus 5,786. So let's set these two numbers up. And it looks like we will need some borrowing. We may not need borrowing completely everywhere, but we'll need some. So that's 18,000. Yeah, I'm putting a little space between the numbers on purpose so I have some space to work if I need to or if I need to borrow. Mine is 5,786, so that we're in the thousands place value to start with, with the five, so that's a five in the thousands place value, seven in the hundreds place value, eight in the tens place value, and a six in the ones place value. Okay, so we're just subtracting these. And uh, just already with the ones place value we see here, and again, yeah, I would be focusing just on that once place value, so I'm ignoring the rest of those numbers. I have two minus six. But the problem is six is too big to take away from two. So I, I need to go to my tens place value, and I say, okay, my tens, uh, and I'm, again, I'm looking specifically at this top number here. I got 32 right there, right? Well, I need to borrow one of these tens to make this 12. Then I will have enough to take away the six. All right, so I'm going to take that two in the ones place value make it 12, which means I borrowed a 10 from the three tens there, which now makes it two tens, like this. Okay, so now that I've done my borrowing, I'll go back to just focusing on that ones place value. 12 minus six, again, it's not in our subtraction fact, so you may use your fingers, you may uh, use whatever concrete example you need. 12, uh, again, I'd have the two fingers up, minus the two, uh, then 10 up, and then minus four more gives me six. So 12 minus six is six. Now that's just the ones place value though. I'm gonna move into my tens place value. And yeah, again, this happens. I got a two minus eight. Again, eight's too big to take away from the two. So I'm gonna have to borrow from the hundreds place value now, the next place value to the left, uh, which is a five in, in the top here. So that I say the five, I'm gonna borrow um, a set of this hundred, right? So that's a, a 12 tens, which means this uh, five in the hundreds place value becomes a four. And then we focus again on the just the tens place value, okay? So that's 12 minus eight. All right, again, I got two fingers up, I take two away, I got 10 fingers up, I got six more to go, so um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I got four fingers up. So 12 minus eight is four. And that is the tens place value. Now the hundreds place value. But again, I got a four in the hundreds place value, and I'm gonna take away seven, no, it's not enough, it's not enough. So I'm gonna have to borrow going into my next place value, the thousands, where we have the eight. I say, hey, this eight, I'm gonna borrow one of those thousands to make that uh, uh, 1,400 essentially, and then this becomes 7,000, right? Well, now that I borrowed from the thousands place value, we'll go in 
back into the thousand, uh, hundreds place value. And yeah, I, I'm also saying that you can ignore those. I, I probably should have covered those up last time. But this is showing now 14 minus 7, right? Okay, so you got four fingers up, take away four. You got 10 fingers up, four, five, six, seven. And I got seven fingers up there. So 14 minus seven is seven. But again, this is just the hundreds place value. We need to now look into the thousands place value, which has been adjusted. That 8,000 now is 7,000 because we had to borrow 1,000 for the hundreds place value. And we have seven minus five, which is in our uh, subtraction facts there, seven minus five is two. So we get a two as the difference in the thousands place value. Now, uh, we, we had a value in the 10 thousands as well, right? We got that one. Uh, now one minus nothing, whether you show a zero there or not, is not important because it's still going to be one right there. All right. So then what do we get as the full difference here? So the difference between 18,532 is, and I'm sorry, 5,786 is 12,746. There's our two answers there. Let's box those in so we know there are answers. There it is. Now, that second one, it was a lot of work. Not that it was hard work, right? I mean, it's, it, hopefully we get a little bit of an idea of how this is working as we borrow, right? So it's not that it's hard work. It's just that it is a lot of work. And the, the longer the numbers are, the bigger the numbers, uh, of course, the more work it becomes. But again, just the fact that it's work doesn't mean that it's hard work on this stuff. Now, if it's hard, by the way, that doesn't matter. Um, it, it should be okay that it's hard, like... We know that we can do hard things um, and we can get along just fine. Just understand that the more experience you get with this kind of stuff, even though you may find it difficult now, the more experience you get, uh, you'll find that uh, the weight of that, these types of calculations will become easier as you get more experience.